Hello and welcome to Riverbend Springs. This is the first of our new series on FS25. This is more of a survival start from scratch challenge that we're going to do. And we are currently, well, I say start from scratch, we are currently have £567 in our bank. So we're not exactly flush with money. But this is what it's all about. It's whether we can build a successful farm here in Riverbend Springs. Now, we are starting with some equipment. Uh, we've got quite a beast. Uh, this is it. This is ours. Yep. All 117 horsepower of it. Yep. It is quite a... Uh, it's very red. And red trailer. But this is what we're starting with. We are starting with the Z-Tor. There we go. Now this is a tractor that I've never used before. One of the reasons why I decided that we better get this one. So I haven't used it. So, so it seems like a good time as any. Uh, we also have obviously the front loader, a bucket, and a trailer. And of course we have our trusty chainsaw, which we're going to be using a lot to begin with because this is a bit of a challenge and obviously with money being the way it is we have to make money somehow and the easiest way is to cut down trees not exactly the best for the environment but we can replant later on at some date so that's fine but we need to make money we need to survive we need to be able to build a profitable farm one that will grow and one that we can have animals and so forth that's the plan we do have some land to start with. Uh, we're just going to take a bit of a trip there now. Now, I have been on this map a couple of times. I haven't really been around to have a good old look around. But obviously, I, I had to choose a starting position. Ooh, let me just uh, adjust the volume. A bit loud for me. All right. So where was I? So we, I have had a look around. Um, choose the bit of land that we're going to start with. It's not the best because no, it's a challenge, isn't it? That's what it's all about. So we're not starting with the start farm. We're starting with a bit of land which is on a bit of a slope. There's a bit of a slope, but we do have trees and we do have some farmland as well. I'm trying to remember the way to get to there. It's in that direction over there. No. Like I said, I haven't I've been round maybe two or three times just to have a look around to, to, to actually choose a location. So uh, I do rely on the map still. Um, I've purposely not been watching too many videos of people playing this map because I wanted to come on out as a fresh fresh start and be able to enjoy learning and experiencing it for the first time. Hence why this has taken a bit of time to get started because I didn't want to rush into it. I was waiting for a few mods to come out, maybe older equipment, but as of yet there is nothing available here that is that old to be honest so I thought well I wanted to start it I really enjoy enjoy this FS25 it has a few issues obviously at the moment uh, but hopefully I'll get remedied in the up and coming weeks by Giants fingers crossed uh, I know some of the issues have been addressed already but there's still uh, a few more that need to be uh, improved on this say that's probably the most diplomatic way I can put it. Um, one of which that I've experienced is performance. My performance uh, from my computer playing this game has dropped significantly since the update. Which is a bit, well, I say a bit disappointing, very disappointing. But I think the quality is still there, it's still good, and hopefully that will be that will be improved over time. Right, getting back to what we're doing. Enough of the moaning. This is our land. Let's just park up here. Okay. 
Right. Yes, it's a, a very nice position right next to a grain mill. Maybe not the most scenic of views, but this is what we are starting with, field 27, as it is. And it is currently grass. Unfortunately, being a, what it is, we do not have anything to actually cut the grass with at the moment. And I don't think £567 is going to buy us anything to cut the grass. But one of the things that I don't want to do on this, uh, which I think is makes adds to the challenge, is I don't want to lease equipment. So anything that we require, we will have to buy. Likewise, we can only do contracts if we've got the equipment. Yeah, I'm not quite sure uh, when I thought about this. So I thought, well, yeah, it's make it a bit challenging. And uh, I think I might have, I don't know if I've gone too far or far enough. I'm not quite sure yet. Time will tell. But this is our land. I'll quickly uh, jump up there. Let's have a look on the bigger map. Okay, so this is us. Field 27. So it is, it's a good size. Don't get me wrong. You know, it's not a small plot, but it has its challenges. Obviously, it slopes from north to south, or north to south-east, I suppose you could say. Uh, but it's it's about half and half, half trees, forest, and half field. So it's uh, currently obviously got grass in, like we said. But it is divided, but it is a nice location. It's it's not central, it's north north cent centre, I suppose you could say, if anything. But we do have we do have a few things around us and easy access to sort of the main one of the main roads that runs west to east, I suppose you could and so I think travelling is not too bad from here. Should be pretty easy. Uh obviously we can expand and that is the plan the plan is to expand maybe taking so these fields at the top 22 13 12 26 28 even so we could expand so like that way or even so like 16 14 15 and 11 could go down there or any combination thereof i suppose is uh i suppose the money dependent i mean what we got 191,000 a bit pricey that Hundred what's this one? Oh no, it says hundred and seventeen. So that's the you know maybe in a few time you know, so a few months time maybe. Hundred and five forty eight thousand. So there there we go, that's not a bad price for a field close to us. Hundred and thirty nine. So they're fairly reasonably priced. Sixty seven. We could even go across the road, I suppose, you know, feel into the north side of the road. But for the time being Let's be realistic, we aren't going anywhere. We aren't going to be expanded for a little while yet. But we do have, if you... I did have a look at it the other day. The top half looks fairly flat, so potential building, maybe. On here, after clearing the trees and shrubberies. Shrubberies? Is that a word? Shrubridge? Anyway, little bushes. So clear all this and hopefully we might be able to build something on there maybe uh, it does slope considerably down towards the grain mill it's a bit of a steep hill but there's some some good sized trees here definitely like I said we can replant as well at some point so, but I don't want to get rid of them all and obviously we've got the grass down here so it is I think quite a good spot it's it's out of the way it's not too easy a plot I think to start on I think it's got its challenges it's not big but it's not the smallest you know so I think that's a good compromise there equipment wise I think starting with obviously some method of getting around with is essential so tractor definitely it's not the biggest tractor like I said, 117 brake horsepower, I think it is. So it's got a little bit, but not fantastic. We've got a trailer. 
so we can put trees and stuff in there and that or little logs i'm not going to be using super strength either so all the logs got to be able to be able to pick up uh which i think about 200 kilogram limit we've got on picking stuff up we do have a bucket on the front so i thought about getting a grab for picking up bigger logs and stuff but again i thought well no let's get the money so we have to actually buy it uh, we do have front weight so we will be able to pick up bigger logs at some point and we do have a weight already which is handy but for now trusty chainsaw right, uh, what we'll do is we'll attack a few of these trees i mean i probably missed loads that i should have been saying but if i if there's anything you want to know just ask in the write in the comments let me know if the volume's too low too high if you think i should have started with more or less just got to trim this up if we can just makes it a little bit easier so the branches aren't sticking out everywhere well, i'm looking I'm looking forward to this. I've enjoyed the. Uh, I've been playing on obviously Hussein Pan Tai. So that and that's been. Why is that not? So that's been really good. I've been really enjoyed it. FS went far. I mean, generally, I think it's good. I'll see a few issues, but like I say, I'm not going to dwell on them for now. Because hopefully they're going to all get addressed in time. Oh, missed the branch there. Right, uh, I'm still trying to get to grips with this. Uh, the, uh, not the chainsaw, but, oh yeah, I suppose a chainsaw. It doesn't seem to be... I don't know, it seems to be different than FS-22. Now, is it different in a good way? Uh, I don't know. I think it's just getting used to it, isn't it? I think that's the, that's the thing we can't... Uh, forget is the fact is that it is a different... It is a different but the same game, if that makes sense. You know, there are going to be some things that are carried over from FS22 and rightly so perhaps ooh that's a big bit um, and hopefully they've carried over some of the best parts you know it's a a bit clipping there look that's one thing I always uh, struggle with with games like this is uh, clipping I don't know how they oh these are quite 43 kill. I can pick these up. Yeah, these are, things clipping in that. I think that should be. That's quite a basic thing. I think it's a shame that it happens. It does spoil it a little bit. But all right, let's get this in there. No, obviously with trees. We gotta. This is probably the only way we're gonna be able to make money to start with. I mean, there is there is the deadwood contracts that we could possibly do as well that might be worth having a look they, I'm not going to say they pay well because they don't pay well it's definitely a source of income that we are able to do um, which we take advantage of anyway especially the early stages it's about the early stages isn't it? it's that trying to get some kind of momentum to try and get going the only way that we've got at the moment to get going is by cutting down and selling trees. So we'll try and do the smaller ones first. Hopefully clear some of this the little bushes and that because these things annoy me. Really do. These little bushes. It's hard to see. I know where they're going, but it doesn't mean I have to like them, I suppose. Is it? You know, but I will be getting rid of them. Just to clean it up a bit. I 
I don't think these are going to give us the... These aren't the biggest, are they? But at the moment, any bit of money will do. I'll settle for just a few quid. You know, just to get it going. I will do... A little, so not so much fast forwarding, but, you know, the old... Uh, speed it up a bit as such. So at times when it's a bit... Oh, a bit tricky. You guys find someone to sell these as well. Because I don't that'd be quite a good but I don't think I've s don't think I've got a sawmill in the other so we maybe a sawmill might be the way forward as well. I think they're quite expensive, though. I think they're about thirty odd thousand, so maybe not just yet, but definitely potential there for getting one of those little sawmills. That'd definitely get us some money, wouldn't it? Oh, that's a little bit too big this one for getting hold of. Trim it. Oh, it's got life of its own. Alright, that's uh What we'll do is we'll load this up because it is the first one. It's that trying to work out where everything is. Trying to let you guys know what's going on. I mean, it would be nice to get some animals at some point. I know I've... I will try buffalo, actually. Buffalo is something I haven't done yet, so... Oop. That's got a mind of its own, that bit. I think it's fell out, yeah. Let's try that again. Strap it up. No, it's jumping. Come on, calm down. No, okay. It doesn't look like that, does it? Okay. Try it there. There we go. Now it's happy. A bit of a lively one. Right. Eh, looks a bit of a mess. But if I trim them, I'll probably end up getting rid of them. Right, let's go and look at the way we can sell these. Let's go and look on the prices. Right, we have wood for sale. So let's find wood. And it is the lowest price ever at the moment. Well, I'll say lowest. We can get 2958, and it's got a high of 3000 for 1000 litres. So we're actually near, near enough there, aren't we? 3000, so we'll tag that so we know where we're going. This is a bit of a direction. Wood paper mill, was it paper mill? Yeah. Oh, there we go. It's over this side. What have we got? Uh, paper factory. Okay. So that's where we're going to. Right, let's get this. I might as well leave the... Actually, I could get... Could, I'll say get rid of the fun folks. I don't mean like get rid of them as in sell them. We could drop them off on our land. On a flat part. I don't want them bouncing down the hill or something, you know. That'll be a little bit... A little bit disappointed to start with, you know. Day one and we've lost the front loader already. So that's... Uh, I think this is fairly flat. A bit rocky. Stuff I haven't done is rocks. and things to do with rocks, actually. Not that rocks are... You know, I can make lots of money from doing rocks, that's for sure. But I know you can use... You, know, you can eventually make cement. You can make cement, though. I mean... Come on. There we go. Right, we do have a little red marker. A little circle. Shows us where we're going. Let's have a look. See you there in a minute. Right, 
Right, okay, we're now the air. Or we are here, I should say. There we go, right on the spot. Right, so this is the paper factory. Which you can buy. Um, not that we've got enough not that we've got enough money to buy it, but you can do. I don't know where where it is, where you can buy it. Might have a look around up later on. Alright, let's see if we can get this sold. Do we need to unstrap it? No. Nope. Well there we go, six hundred and twenty six pound. Should really change that to dollars, shouldn't I? That we're in them. The American map. Alright, so that's a good start. That's a good way of making money. Very nice, down by the river. That's being old water driven wheel power wise. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now, water wheel going round to power it. Oh, that I've just seen it. Just seen a little spanner where that tells you. That you can buy it. I do have the mod installed for renting or leasing uh, factories, which I think is good. So we could rent or lease. We could lease it at some point. Obviously not, not straight away. Let's just have a look. See how much it is to buy. Five hundred twenty-five thousand to buy. A little bit out of our price range at the moment. But, yeah, you never know. One day, one day we might be rich enough. Who knows? But for now, we can just use the facility and that's probably be about as much as we'll get. But that is a good start. Stop those straps from going. Right, how can we... Carry on turn right down here. I do have a bad ha habit of not looking at junctions, which I'm, has caused a few accidents over over uh, over time. I was trying to make a way back to our to our farm. We'll call it a farm for now, even though we don't have a farm building or anything or anywhere to sleep. We're we'll sleeping in the tractor tonight. Slept the worst places. Right, where do we need to go? Do we need to go left? We could do the boggle by the ferry. We can go look at I'm not I'm not looked at the go on. I've not seen the ferries as yet, so we go down here, have a look at the ferry and make our way back. Got track. Yep. Okay. Seems like a plan. Like I say, this is going to be a very relaxed, very laid back, not the fastest let's play if you want, reverse of challenge. I'm not going to rush it. I'm, I enjoy playing the game and. Uh, oops. Bit of a bump in the road. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, take a time. I hope you enjoy it anyway. Alright, so this is the ferry. Drive slow onto your ferry. Alright, information thing there. Oh! I don't know if I should have clicked on that or not. Ah, I just sent the ferry off to the other side. There it goes. Nice little ripples in the water as well. Let me jump over here. Oh, yeah, we can. bit misty. That's one thing I... It's the fog. Yeah. Fog or mist. I have a little bit of an issue with that, to be honest. I do on Hutan Pantai. Pantai. But, yeah. That's another thing. We'll see how bad it is on here. I'm not sure if there's a way you can turn it off, maybe. That'd be quite useful if you could actually turn the fog off if you want it or not. For the time being, I don't think there is. Might be a mod to make where you can disable it, maybe. But at the moment, just have to put up with that, I guess. 
Right, we need to turn left up here. We'll actually check both ways first. Yep, good to go. Ah, that's a nice yellow school bus. Very American. And Canadian, I should say. But they do have them in Canada, don't they? Right, so well, that's not too far from where we are. Oh, they've got the... Uh, I think it's the wagon building facility factory whatever you want to call it up there to our right so that's something we can actually that's I think a lot of it's wood based obviously so that'd be quite quite convenient for us being as we're uh, potentially be cutting down a lot of wood but that'll probably take planks so sawmill is definitely something that we need to look at as one of our big first time investments maybe Right, so what I'll do is try not to. Oh, I can try a bit of a grass. I do have field destruction on, so something I'll have to remember to do is not to drive over. Anyway, can we cut these? We can. I don't know if you can do that, because I do have the Lumberjack mod installed. So I don't know if it's because I've got that installed I'm allowed to do this, or I say allowed, that we can do this. It might be, but I think for things like this, to get rid of the little bushes, I think, I think you could do that and, you know, you can get rid of that. With a uh, sort of chainsaw, so, well, you could cut down most of it, but we wouldn't be cutting any stumps. We'll actually have to get a stump grinder to cut down the stumps of the trees that we cut down. So we'd not use the the mod for that. We'll only use it for getting rid of the bushes. Right. So. Oh, it's moving. Nope, there we go. Got it. Like I said, I'm not trimming them down. If I trim them down, there's that thing of that you get more money if you trim trim down uh, logs and stuff like that. But I think these are too small to be able to really count as logs, are they? More like just the old branch, really. So I don't think you'd get any benefit from trimming them down because I think they'd just disappear if you tried. I might be wrong, but not only that, time spent. Whoop. Oh, it's got a mind of its own, that bit. No, nope. happy. Yep, that'll do. Strap that down there. Alright, let's uh, get rid of these little bushes. Oh, now that's attacking. Oh, that's attacking that log stump. Yep, yeah. so we'll leave them ones for now. Yeah, so that's the thing. I might have to turn that. Might have to get rid of that uh, lumberjack mod just to make sure we can do what we can do. I'd... Might be a case of getting the real mower mod, which allows you then to cut down. Well, no, the real mower mod is, is, I think, quite good actually. To be honest. I think it's very good actually, I should say. Because it does let you cut pretty much so grass and bushes and little things like that. So that's what I'll do is I'll after this I'll deselect it so that we don't have that for next time. That way I don't go down cutting down things I shouldn't be cutting down type of thing. Because that's the thing, isn't it? It's accidentally cutting down into like a tree when you don't mean to or picking up something that's way too heavy 
I mean, these aren't too bad. These are manageable. I don't think you'd be able to do that. All right. Let's just put a strap on there so nothing flies out. It looks like clearing a bit of it, so it looks a bit more... Bit more. I don't know. I don't know what's the word. What's the not clear? Um, decluttered. How's that? Is that good? No, do you want it? That's not a. I'm trying to get trim these up a bit. See, this is not too bad for trimming up. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to have to turn that mod off, I think. So he's giving us a... Climbing a tree here and trimming up at the same time. That's a bit... There we go. Whoops, fell off. Alright, let's uh, cut that around a bit there. See if we can pick that bit up. Yeah, 125 kilos. Still quite heavy though. Not exactly light, is it? Put that in there. This way. Oh, we'll trim that up. Oh. That was a bit disappeared under the map. Which is not a, not a good look at all, is it? fits in there nicely. I think this is all a bit cut up there. There we go. Oh come on. Pick up. There we go. Okay. So we'll get these lo these logs loads. These logs even. It's just a bit brutal. Uh, we get these logs loaded. What we'll do is we'll take it to a different cell point this time. Just so that we get to see a bit more of the map. Remember to strap it down because what you don't want is a log flying out halfway round there. Be a little bit. Oops. That's something I have noticed on on the other map is that you do seem to be dropping logs more than ever before. Seems to be a quite a common thing nowadays. It might just be me actually. But. Come on, come on. Why aren't you going? There we go. That's the last one we'll do on this load. I'll put the straps on. So it's nice and secure. So we don't lose anything on our travels. I think that's it, isn't it? Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, that's all gone. Okay, let's have a look. See where we're going next. Uh, let's have a look at the prices. Prices for wood. Then we get where we go. We went to the paper factory last time. So we've got the carpentry. Goldcrest Valley. That's the train. Or the sawmill. Let's go to the carpentry. That's closer. That is closer, actually. Yeah. So we'll tag that. Look at the map. Map. Uh, look for the flashing icon. Ah, oh, it's in the so it's centre. 
Right, so how can we get there? Uh, down the road, up through this little bit. I was like the way that we came from the shop, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Right, so let's reverse this back. Oh, come on. Good grief. Struggling there. It's not a good start, is it? I went for this track because I thought, like I said before, it's one that I haven't used before. And it's not over overpowered, but you can have a front loader on it. Which is definitely what we need. You know, it's, a, it's a definitely a must when you're doing something like this, I guess. Try not to take the signage out. Ooh. Okay, so are we going the right way? Yes, I think so. A little bit of a hill up here. Look like a really bad hairdo dragging along. Right, so we need to turn left up here. And a long station on the right, which is handy. So people crossing the road. Careful. Left down here. Oh, there's another calf here, look. Central calf. They've got a good business that. Good franchise then. Oh. Oh look, an old barn. I did look at this spot. But yeah. Right, so we need to turn left. Another calf. Lots of calves around here. Big coffee lovers. Whoop. And the car just pulls out on us. Nice. Stuff of that hasn't changed from FS22 then. What's that then? Is that Old oh, Bakery? So we've got far to go to get a donut or something. Do look. A bit noisy. Good God. Right. Cuddly toy. Oh, there it is. Walking well. Oh, barbershop. Kim's barbershop. Come and get a haircut. Would be handy if I had much hair, but there you go. That's a story for another time. So the bakery is soul point, so it's definitely a Thing. How much this is then to buy? Oh, 50,000. Well, that's fairly reasonable. Obviously, flour they'll take, turn into bread, and then you can also make cakes as well, can't you? With the right ingredients for fruit and all that kind of thing. Obviously, from greenhouses. Greenhouses, I don't know if we've got flat enough land for greenhouse, to be honest. I think green. I think everybody goes down the greenhouse route, don't they? When we start off. It's, it is a good way. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. It is definitely a good way of making money to start with, or less. Not a lot of input. Oh, better stop for the train. Oh, there it goes. Looking through the bush. There we go. That's quite good. I remember to stop at these. Do what get wiped out by a. Yep, there we go. Stop. Remember. Always stop. Yeah, I can't remember what I was saying though. To get sidetracked fairly easily, and there was that. Right, so. Almost there. go across the bridge of the something I have noticed is that the collisions you know with the camera and that kind of thing that seems to happen more I don't know whether a mod come out on FS22 where you can turn that off or something I don't know that's a look oh no so I can't go down that way mind the van let's go down here
No, I've gone the wrong way. Have I gone the wrong way? That's because I'm not looking at my map. <laughs> right, so, ah, there we go. See, it was the right way, just an awkward way around. I thought I'd show off that bit, that was all. That's the reason why I went that way. Alright, here we are. Okay, so this is Willow Lumber Company. Thank you, that was my phone. Not yours, don't worry about it. So Willow Lumber Company. You can buy it. You do have the option. Let's see how much this is. Three hundred thousand. No, there you go. For that you get a nice factory. Okay, let's sell the logs that we have. 412. Mm. It's more about seeing the place than anything else, not about the money. <laughs> say that when you don't get much. Oh, I just pulled out on a car there. I don't know if you noticed. See what I mean? We're not checking. There we go. That's the front of the ship. Looks quite... Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. My fault. Okay. Well, I think that's it. what we'll do is we'll leave it there for now. A little bit of an introduction. A little bit of a look around. Made a little bit of money as well. But this is the plan. This is the plan for this. I don't know how often. I'll try and see. Maybe every couple of days get one of these videos out. Uh... It all depends how much I get into it, which I can imagine myself getting quite into this actually, because I do like these challenges. Uh, so, and they're fairly easy to do, and that, you know, it's, uh, I've got a bit more spare time than most at the moment anyway, so. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. If you like it, let me know. You know, do the normal thing. Uh, please leave a comment, any ideas, anything you want to know. Maybe what, where, what kind of thing we should go down. Let me rephrase that. What kind of route we should go down? As in, do we go animals? Do we go farmland only? Do we do a mixture? Logging? Maybe not just logging, but, you know, who knows. Yeah, so, let us know what you think. Like and subscribe and all that kind of good stuff. And, uh, hopefully I'll, uh, see you next time. We'll soon be millionaires. Thanks for watching. See you later.